In this, the world of extraordinary worms, where we explore whether creatures resembling the worms from the planet Arrakis exist on Earth, and discover the most fascinating worm species among us. One of the most intriguing worms is the hammerhead worm, a member of the tapeworm family and the largest known land-dwelling species. Growing up to 40 centimeters in length on average, this worm strikes an imposing figure in the world of invertebrates. It earns its fearsome reputation as a carnivorous predator, primarily feasting on earthworms, but also known to consume snails and centipedes. When the hammerhead worm hunts, it employs a cunning strategy. Wrapping its body around its prey like a constrictor snake, it secretes mucus containing a neuroparalytic poison called tetrodotoxin. This potent substance quickly incapacitates the prey, allowing the worm to commence its feeding process. Interestingly, the hammerhead worm lacks traditional sensory organs like eyes and a mouth. Instead, its head is defined by a fleshy crescent structure at the front of its body, housing only a small nerve ganglion in lieu of a brain. The mouth, positioned along the underside of the worm's body, serves dual roles as both the entry for food and the exit for waste, a unique adaptation in the animal kingdom. Digestion begins externally, as the mucus that envelops the prey acts as a digestive enzyme, facilitating the extraction of nutrients from the victim's tissues. Remarkably, hammerhead worms are hermaphroditic, possessing both male and female reproductive organs. They can reproduce sexually by exchanging gametes during copulation, or asexually through fragmentation. If a worm is severed, each segment has the potential to regenerate into a complete organism within weeks, a trait shared by many planarian species, rendering them virtually immortal in a biological sense. Native to Southeast Asia, particularly thriving in the tropical and subtropical regions of Indochina, hammerhead worms have also established populations in other parts of the world, including Europe. Initially introduced alongside exotic plants, they have adapted well to temperate climates, finding habitats in greenhouses and botanical gardens. Despite initial concerns that these worms might pose a threat to plants, researchers have determined that hammerhead worms are benign to greenery, easing fears about their ecological impact. Their presence, though unusual and occasionally alarming due to their predatory nature, adds a fascinating dimension to the biodiversity of terrestrial ecosystems across the globe. In the realm of unexpected threats to Earth's ecosystems, the hammerhead worm emerges as a particularly insidious menace. These creatures pose a significant danger to earthworm populations, which play a crucial role in soil aeration and nutrient cycling. As invasive species, hammerhead worms have raised concerns due to their ability to decimate local earthworm communities. While methods effective against slugs can sometimes control flatworm populations in the short term, the long-term ecological impact of hammerhead worms remains uncertain and requires ongoing study. Moving to another extraordinary inhabitant of our planet, the bobbit worm presents itself as a creature seemingly plucked from science fiction. Among the largest polychaete worms, adult bobbit worms can reach lengths of up to 3 meters. Their appearance is striking adorned with an iridescent shimmering body and a menacing head crowned with alien-like jaws. Bobbit worms inhabit warm tropical waters, where they lead a predatory lifestyle of formidable proportions. Their prey often includes fish and crustaceans much larger than themselves. Employing a stealthy strategy, the bobbit worm burrows into the seabed, leaving only a few centimeters of its body exposed above the surface. There it patiently awaits passing prey. When an unsuspecting fish ventures too close, the bobbit worm strikes with astonishing speed, reminiscent of scenes from the movie Tremors. Its powerful jaws ensnare the victim, swiftly pulling it underground to be consumed. In some unfortunate instances, bobbit worms have inadvertently found their way into aquariums, where they grow unchecked, preying upon fish and even live coral. Detecting bobbit worms proves challenging, as they are predominantly nocturnal hunters. One coral breeder shared a chilling account of discovering the presence of a bobbit worm in their aquarium. Suspecting something was amiss with their corals, they observed that the corals appeared unharmed during the day, but mysteriously damaged by morning. 
determined to uncover the culprit, they used a red lens lamp to observe nocturnal activities in the tank. Their vigilance paid off when they spotted a worm emerging from a living rock crevice. The worm's relentless emergence revealed its substantial size, confirming its identity as a bobbit worm. Moments later, the breeder witnessed the worm's predatory prowess firsthand, as it preyed upon expensive coral within their aquarium. The bobbit worm's impressive size pales in comparison to its relative, Linnaeus longissimus, recognized as the longest animal in the world. This extraordinary lineage of worms underscores the diversity and adaptability of life on Earth, where creatures both mesmerize and challenge our understanding of the natural world. In the depths of our oceans lurks a creature that defies imagination, the nematode worm, capable of growing up to an astonishing 60 meters in length. To put this into perspective, that's twice the size of a blue whale and three times longer than a hairy jellyfish. Belonging to the group of nematode worms, their name derives from sea nymph, evoking images of elusive and ethereal beings of the deep. Witnessing the nematode worm in action, particularly its proboscis ejection process, can evoke a sense of horror akin to scenes from a suspenseful movie. Despite its terrifying appearance, this worm is harmless to humans, focusing instead on its role in the complex marine ecosystem. Across the vast expanse of our planet's waters, scientists have identified approximately 1,000 species of worms, the majority of which reside in aquatic environments. These creatures are characterized by their elongated, slender bodies, often as thin as 2 millimeters in diameter, but capable of stretching to their full length, which can reach up to 30 meters. Their boneless bodies resemble giant coils when not fully extended, illustrating their remarkable flexibility and adaptability. Physiologically primitive yet remarkably efficient, worms lack a conventional heart and instead rely on muscular contractions to circulate blood throughout their bodies. Despite their seemingly basic structure, worms are formidable predators in their own right. They employ a variety of tactics, including shooting out long, tubular proboscises armed with poisonous, sticky hooks to ensnare their prey. Many species blend seamlessly into the dark depths of the ocean, their colors adapted to camouflage in the shadows. Some, however, display vibrant hues that belie their sinister hunting strategies. Worms possess remarkable regenerative abilities, swiftly recovering from injuries, and in some cases, even reproducing asexually by splitting into multiple segments. These adaptations underscore their resilience and evolutionary success in diverse aquatic habitats, where they play crucial roles in the marine food web. Exploring the world of nematode worms reveals not only their extraordinary size and predatory prowess, but also their fundamental importance in maintaining the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of these ancient creatures, their discoveries illuminate the intricate web of life that thrives beneath the waves.